With 2020 in the rearview mirror, the 117th Congress now getting underway as members take their oaths of office on Capitol Hill today. News 11's Kelly Hoskins reports. Cori Bush, a nurse and activist, becomes the first African-American congresswoman from Missouri. We talk with her about some of those key issues facing America. The 117th Congress was sworn in on Sunday, bringing in an influx of new lawmakers to Capitol Hill in the midst of an ongoing coronavirus pandemic. Among the new representatives, Cori Bush will represent the first congressional district. Bush defeated 10-term incumbent Lacey Clay in the primary election, making history. Today is historical in so many ways. Um, number one, you know, St. Louis has not had, you know, a person in this seat um, that hasn't had the, the, the last name of Clay um, for 52 years. Uh, and we are also in a position where we have Missouri's first, have the very first woman um, in the seat. I am the very first black congresswoman in the history of the state of Missouri. I'm the very first nurse in the, um, to go to Congress from the state of Missouri in, our his, in, the, in the history of the United States and the very first uh, activist fighting for black lives to go to Congress in our history. Our news crew talked with Bush just hours before the swearing in ceremony about some key issues. Missouri Senator Josh Hawley is one of 11 senators pledging to reject the outcome of this week's congressional meeting to certify Joe Biden as the next president of the United States. It's treason. Um, you know, he is, first of all, um, it is hypocrisy, you know, but he's not even talking about his own state. When you talk about, uh, uh, um, you know, not accepting the um, these election results, then does that mean that all of those senators and all of those, um, those Congress people, that they shouldn't be seated? Senate Democrats pushing for the House version of the stimulus increase, which calls for payouts to be increased to $2,000. For those that did receive the $1,200 months ago, you know, um, to then go all of this time and then to only get $600, that was a slap in the face. And I keep saying it, our people deserve better than that. We deserve $2,000 a month, monthly recurring. And regarding the death penalty, Congresswoman Bush had this to say. The jails, the prisons are filled with black and brown people, you know, um, at disproportionate rates. And when we talk about who is on death row, we're killing black and brown people. We have the moratorium. We need there to be an abolishment of the death penalty. We need it now. Reporting in St. Louis, Missouri, Kelly Hoskins, News 11.